welcome to FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer and this is the local roundup. Beer and music go together like crackers and cheese, string cheese to be exact. Keyboard player for String Cheese Incident, Kyle Hollingsworth, has combined two of his favorite loves in his brewski tour. Here's the best part. He works with local breweries and whips up his own beer. And this weekend, when he performs in Durango, he'll be serving up Kyle's manipulated modus, a twist on Ska's modus operandi. That's Saturday at 10 p.m. at the Animus City Theater. And after all that beer, are you looking for a good workout? Try hauling hundreds of pounds of cargo on your bike. Cargo bikes are typically seen in Europe, but here in bicycle lovers land, they're catching on. These rides are one or two feet longer than typical bikes and are equipped to handle multiple people and up to 400 pounds. And here's your chance to vote for Durango and Moab as the best U.S. cycling town. Cast your vote at www.10best.com. And the heart of the Durango Herald, Morley Ballantyne, who passed away in 2009, was inducted into the Colorado Women's Hall of Fame. As the editor and chairman of the Herald, she could be considered a pioneer of journalism. And Southwest Colorado receives an A plus for their B movement. Honey bees not only provide nutritious food, but they're critical for pollinating crops. And with a decline in honey bees, Montezuma County has stepped up their beekeeping game. They're ranked eighth in the state for hive production with 127 colonies producing almost 11,000 pounds of honey. You could call it liquid gold. And Cortez Middle School will be producing other profitable products. The Colorado Health Foundation gave almost $53,000 in support of the Montezuma School to Farm project. They plan on using the funds to create a garden at the middle school and sell the produce at a farmer's market. The project also provides students with opportunity to learn about business and math concepts and, of course, nutrition. But at El Rancho Tavern, beauty is in the eye of the beer holder. Artists of all kinds flocked to the ranch to show off their PBR-inspired works of art. There were beer lamps, paintings, and even cupcakes. And later today on FourCornersTV.com, find out about one bicycle mechanic and recycler in Dolores. This guy finds a use for every part and piece of a bicycle that is past its prime. That's right here at 3 p.m. Thanks for watching the local roundup on FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer. We'll see you Monday.